Hello and welcome again to the Friday Wrap for July 22nd. You're probably wondering where I'm standing today. Well, you'll find out in a moment and you might be quite surprised. Uh, now, I, I don't know if you had a chance to go to the concert last weekend, but the, uh, the weather, I think, scared a lot of people away if you, to see the new invaders. Uh, however, if you were able to attend, uh, you probably enjoyed having lesser crowds there and the weather uh, cleared up. And you'd also get the chance to see a rainbow. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, we pulled up about a half hour after it started and it was just absolutely amazing. I took a great picture, which is attached, of the rainbow itself with the uh, Chase Bank in the background as well as the Burridge uh, Parkway sign. That was kind of cool. And tonight, the Shagadelics are playing at seven o'clock. As a reminder, uh, several of our restaurants also have entertainment right after the concerts. Uh, for example, Cooper's Hawk, County Wine Merchant, and Dow. Uh, after the concert, if you want to continue that or, or just to go to there by yourself or, or afterward uh, without the concert. Uh, and uh, on, on Saturday evening, uh, someone named, uh, it was Nick, uh, let's see, Nick Pomparelli. He'll be performing on the patio at Capri Restaurant on Saturday night. In, in order to honor our veterans, uh, there is a, a great uh, 5K run next weekend. It's called Run for Veterans, 5K uh, Walk or Run. Uh, they also have a push-up challenge. Uh, that will be on Sunday, July 31st. Uh, it starts at 9, 9 a.m. It's at the, at the Burridge Village Center, actually on the Village Green. Uh, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great cause. Matter of fact, it's a, it, the proceeds will benefit uh, the mental health care of, of veterans, uh, which is especially important these days when the results for 2014 are finally in, uh, where there are actually over 2,000 suicides alone uh, among veterans. Uh, that's almost, uh, almost one every hour. Uh, so go to www.runforveterans.com uh, for more information on that. Uh, there, there is a, uh, also, uh, there's an event uh, in uh, Long Grove, uh, kind of a, a little bit of a hike, but it's well worth it. Kind of makes you feel like you're on vacation. Uh, they have a seventh annual uh, concert or veterans annual pig roast and concert uh, on, on Sunday, July 24th. Uh, it's held at the Village Tavern. That's kind of cool. And when you're there, you'll also get to see uh, the, uh, uh, the grandfather clock, uh, which they uh, purchased, uh, it's unbelievable, uh, from a, at a, a silent, at a, like a closed auction. Uh, that was actually in the, in the original McCormick place that was destroyed by fire in 1967. Uh, and that Village Tavern has a dubious honor of having the longest held liquor license in the state. Uh, it's a great place and they have a lot of shops and places to eat, a uh, great place to go visit. Also this week, uh, it also it became official, uh, the Burridge uh, Police Department earned their national CALEA uh, accreditation. Uh, the uh, Burridge Police Department once again qualified for that, making them part of an elite group. Uh, they are only one of 43 uh, departments in the state out of 877 possible ones uh, that, that qualify for this. There are 636 accredited agencies in the country out of possible 18,000 police departments. It's an amazing accomplishment for the Burridge Police Department and our Chief uh, John Madden and Deputy Chief Mark Lopez will be in Baltimore uh, to receive that uh, next, uh, next Saturday. Also, on the, as far as the village goes, the village board meeting, of course, is on Monday. Uh, no other meetings are scheduled. On a personal note, I don't know if you had a chance to, to watch the Republican National Convention, uh, but that was uh, certainly uh, uh, quite an event to go see. Uh, but Ivanka Trump's, Trump's uh, speech alone uh, might make it worth watching, in which she uh, described her, her, her dad as being colorblind and general neutral, uh, as only being able to think big, and that his, his administration would be one in which mothers uh, will be supported, uh, not shut out. So, uh, other than that, Oh, by the way, of course, my book is still uh, is now on sale at Barbara's Bookstore. It's kind of neat. I, I actually, I picture someone uh, out front, uh, uh, Lori Baroni, who uh, owns a, a business and she's a chamber member in Burridge. Uh, I got a good picture of that. I appreciate the support. But now back to where I'm at. Uh, I'm at the uh, uh, place. That I'm let I'm let the let the a very important gentleman here, named Dr. Malik, uh, tell you a little bit about where we're at. As I as I went around the corner here, it's uh, quite a scene. Uh, quite an amazing building, quite an amazing accomplishment that I've watched get built uh, over the last, what was it, two years? Two years, yeah. Two yeah. years. Well, Dr. Malik, why don't you tell us a little bit about St. Mark's? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mayor Mickey, uh, and welcome to uh, uh, the Resurrection Church. This part of the complex, uh, we call it the Resurrection Church. The first one, which was there since 1981, is St. Mark and St. Bishoy Church, 
and uh, we were, are very happy that we were able to complete this expansion in a record time. And uh, we are so impressed with uh, how the contractor did this in a very wonderful and very prompt manner. I know a lot of our neighbors were waiting for us to finish and we are almost done. We still have a little more touches around the exterior of the building, but the building itself for now is we consider it complete and we have been praying here for the last uh, maybe since since the, the resurrection uh, celebration which is about now two months so wonderful but we appreciate very much that you feature us this week in your uh, weekly program and we are very grateful for this and for the excellent uh, guide that you have for bridge thank you so much well thank you very much dr malik it was been amazing i understand it, it went from a million from eight to twelve million dollars to the position it probably more than double the size of the church i imagine so. yes and it's just an amazing place to be and i'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost uh, kind of sheepish to even be uh, in such a holy place uh, filming this but i appreciate you opening up uh, this uh, your doors uh, to let everybody uh, everybody in the village know about it and we actually welcome anybody to come and visit us anytime just come and visit the doors are open and welcome all of you thank you dr malik thanks again for joining me uh, Dr. Miller, I appreciate it. God bless you and all you do. And uh, once again, uh, thanks for joining me for this part of your app. This is a wrap.